Welcome back to the show, everyone. I'm your host, Craig Steger. As you can see, I'm not in studio today. Um, yesterday, I had planned to record, I actually attempted to record, and I messed up the audio on it, um, A an episode about our deck. Uh, so you can see here, I'm sitting outside our house. It's about quarter after five in the morning, beautiful morning. Um, Joan is coming over shortly, and we're going to record a couple episodes in the bus. Um, but I wanted to give you a little bit of a <clears throat> overview of the deck that, that, uh, I did over the last, uh, about a week and a half. Um, really happy with how it turned out. It's a bit of a mess because you can see we have kids here that are occupying it, but, um, so that's the deck. Uh, it's already gotten a ton of use. Um, I'll go through a few pictures showing some of the construction of it, give you some, my tips on it uh maybe some mistakes i made along the way um but anyway so when we originally built this house uh it's a log house as you can see uh we did not have a basement underneath it we built it on a sort of a, a wooden platform um two by ten platform with a deck on it and then the logs are on top of that at the time that we originally built the house, we weren't sure if we were going to make this our permanent house or if this might be eventually more of a kind of a guest place or a vacation place. Uh, once we decided we were going to stay here, we went ahead and put the basement in and then have since enclosed two of the decks. You can see one behind me back here. <laughs> um, still have one piece of plywood to put on the front of it, siding, but otherwise it's pretty much done. Um, uh, but the, the front of the house really needed a deck for a long time. Uh, I had uh, ramps for a long time, uh, that were supposed to be temporary. Of course, temporary means years, but finally got around to doing the deck. It's been really nice to have a place for the kids to play and then just hang out. Uh, so I'm going to show you some, sorry about the road noise. Um, few things about the deck um see if i can let's see here um i'll try and share this um i don't know if this is going to work or not i think you can see hopefully you can see the pictures i think you can um <clears throat> so this was sort of um obviously mid build um so it's two by 10, um, uh, treated two by 10 frame, 16 inches on center. It anchors to the house on the one end, right against the ridge board, uh, the rim board from the original deck, which is pretty easy. I think I'll have another picture. I'll show you how we attached it, basically use joist hangers to attach it to the, to the side of the house, the main su outside support for it. This is these treated two by uh, six by sixes, which are undoubtedly overkill, but um, really not much more expensive or hard to put in versus let's say a four by six, four by four, I think would be undersized. So four by six, four by six is probably the correct size, but six by six is just a little extra, uh, extra strength. Uh, it's cantilevered. So you can see here, I'm going to, let's see if I can do that. It's a double two by 10, I guess, beam for lack of a better word that attaches to the six by six post. The inside one is notched into the post an inch and a half. So it's notched in, that's kind of bearing the weight of it. Uh, and then uh, because it's 20 feet long, there's actually a center post that's cut off below the deck so you don't see it. But basically, there's two ten by uh, two ten footers that uh, butt against each other on that middle post, and then the second layer is an eight foot and a twelve foot, so those joints overlap each other. It's nailed together um, pretty significantly, and then I do still have to add a couple of heavy lag screws that are going to go through there into the post. That's going to be more than sufficient. I use the uh, one by six thick decking. It's probably like an inch and inch and a quarter thick, something like that. I have uh, four by fours. <laughs> it's one of the kitties, one of the cats here. Um, I have four by four 
uh, post treated post at the corners and I actually added um, post uh, in the middle in each run. <clears throat> They're just sitting on the ground here. I'm probably going to cut them off flush with the bottom of the deck. They really don't need to be under there, but I set them on there. They're anchored from the two sides, and then there actually will be a, uh, another heavy lag bolt going into those to help secure it. Um, so that's the main frame of it. Um, let's see here. Um, so the, um, the let me see if there's one other picture I want to show you here. I'll show you the finished project because that's kind of all you need to see now. Um, let's see here. Okay. So here's basically a picture of the finished product. You can see <clears throat> I've got the railing all added on. Uh, there is a treated two by four that goes around the top edge and connects all the posts together. Um, I did leave these, these six by sixes long. They're really probably not necessary, but it really ties the whole structure together. Um, and uh, and then the the top of this is 36 inches off the deck, which I believe is code. Don't quote me on that, but at least in Wisconsin, that's technically I don't even need a railing on this because I think it's it's not too it's about two feet high, but we have the railing so the the babies don't wander off the edge um but these are basically 42 inch uh, two by twos they've got a beveled end on the top super easy to put on um and they secure on the top and then secure on the bottom turned out really really nice the thick decking i put on i um i left very little space in between them just because they do dry out over time these are all pretty wet they will dry and leave enough of a gap so that moisture goes down through it. The last decks that I've done, I've put too much of a space to begin with, and then you just kids lose stuff through the cracks and whatnot. So I tend to err on the smaller on the side of no gap or a smaller gap, knowing that they're gonna gonna open up. Um, the cantilever design is something that a friend told me about. I'm not sure it's perfect way to do it but basically the idea i believe is that you instead of putting your main key post out at the corners you put it underneath it and that deck kind of rides over the top of it there are little brackets um, hangers um, tying the the floor joists to this beam but the idea is that with a cantilever if you have it it, it it's less likely to pull away from the house if the post the stuff move with frost and stuff which is one of the things one of the key things that you have to be aware of that was kind of the hardest part for this job is to to get those three main posts down four feet that's our frost line here in wisconsin so i dug down pretty pretty good size hole to accommodate a six by six along with some movement dug down four feet and then i put a little extra a more, little more than a bag of uh, sack crete in the bottom of it to make a, a level a, kind of a level footing let it dry overnight and then i set the posts in and started building the deck on top of it that's pretty standard around here uh we are going to put a a gate uh let me do sh let me show you one thing quick if i can actually i'll show you right here so you can see here we have it typically so we have three steps here yeah three steps typically this step would not be here you would run you would run it back so that this the first step would actually be the beginning of the deck i opted to put an extra um step on the outside and we're already glad we did because we're going to put a, a retractable gate kind of a mesh gate um in this opening for when the little ones are on the deck uh it's just nice to be able to have a Kind of a landing spot on both sides of that so um yeah and let me show you i'll show you a couple of my mistakes <laughs> so here's one of them you can see here this is the one six by six main support on the end uh i just didn't have it quite long enough this is an eight footer it's four feet in the ground and then it sticks out ideally it would have come up to here could have tied this one to it it's really not a problem but it's kind of 
kind of ugly the way it is. We're gonna add a we're gonna add a board across the top on on end for like putting you know drink glasses and stuff like that on there. Um, but but yeah, so this is this is our um this is our deck now. It gets a lot of use. Kids have toys out here and whatnot. So anyway, wanted to give you kind of an overview of our deck. Uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions that people have. If you're wondering about the dimensions and whatnot, this is a 14 by 20. Um, materials wise, I bought all the materials at Menards. Um, cost me around two thousand dollars in materials. There's no labor. I did all the work myself. I'm guessing if you had to hire someone, you'd probably double that uh, for labor. Took me about a day to dig the dig the post, and then uh, I would say um, three relatively solid weekend days working on it, and then um, some um, nights during the week after work. Um, I didn't hit it real hard, but uh, here I'll show you. Sorry to keep doing this to you. You can kind of see how the joints are. Uh, it's screwed down with torque screws. Highly recommend paying the extra money to use torque screws. They did pre-drill the holes. They don't really split when you put them in because the green the the wood is pretty wet. Um, but they will dry out over time and shrink, and then you can get some cracking. Uh, it's 20 feet long. That was kind of part of the design. So I used staggered eight and 12 foot boards. Some of them I had to trim in the end afterwards, but um, really not very much cutting on this. So anyway, that's the overview of our deck. Uh, sorry for all the road noise, but thought you might enjoy seeing it uh, outside right in the deck itself. So till next time, everyone have a good one.